All right, good evening everyone and welcome to another live stream. I've got a five lot of 50 word um, word search uh, lined up. I'm looking to do something like this once a week to give people access to a broad amount of um, new words and pronunciation. If you've got any requests, let me know. I'm happy to take suggestions if you're looking for a particular field, such as aviation or um, uh, guidance, I'm happy to take feedback. Um, and if you have any requests of particular words, let me know. And I just want to as well, before I get started, give a quick plug into a document I published earlier, a workbook. So I've grouped some of the words up into lots of 20 and some logically associated, like the first, um, 140 words that I would like someone to learn if they were living with me and they had experience, um, living somewhere else, but just none speaking English, and I thought they could uh, learn quickly and with as few words as possible. So there's a video of that. Um, that's one of the last ones released, and there's also some playlists there, and I'm looking to revisit that to um, see if I can publish things a bit differently, but um, keep it there so that way I could have a video just showing a single word pronunciation of um, each word. And then if someone wanted to say, okay, there's a few words that interest me, then they know they can jump into the playlist. But if they don't, then they get to the end of it, then they can kick on to the next um, short version for it. So I'll get into this one. So starting with Royal. And we've also got Capitalization. And it looks like straight on with that, it's nitrogen sharing the end there, so it doesn't more than happy to uh, double up on some letters. We've also got long shot, which is um, you're saying it's not likely to win. So we've got the Melbourne Cup. There might be a few horses that are long shots to win. Um, and nitrogen's an element. And what else have we got? Computerize. So the company might look to computerize its HR or payroll system where before it was maybe giving cash in um, bags, but um, now it might be doing electronic deposits. Cahoots, to say that um, two people were in cahoots, so they were scheming, um, usually for something bad. And something wide-eyed might be very surprised that something had happened. Um, Thinking there's a word I'm seeing there, but um, it's not. I'm seeing it in the bottom. Oh, multilateral. So there might be um, multilateral agencies. So there might be the Environmental Pollution Authority and the police, and then there might also be like um, maybe the, the specialist drug officers involved in, say, a raid or a particular thing, or maybe um, immigration. So there's a, more than one agency conducting it. Someone overjoyed on their birthday. They might be um, get a few extra presents and they weren't expecting. Uh, suburban. So that describes the type of lovely. It's not city, it's not country. There's a lot of houses that are fairly close together. Statesmanship. So you might be off um, representing your country and going to uh, something like the United Nations. And statesmanship is um, looking the part rather than someone might turn up in, you know, shortened shirts and wear some thongs. That wouldn't be very statesmanship. Uh, a geologist is someone that studies rocks and ground. There's wave. A submarine is a ship that goes underground but there's no that's not submarine it's meant to be submarine sandwich so that's a long set of normal sandwich of two bits of bread submarine sandwich is a bread long bread roll which is cut down the side so you've now got a top and a bottom and you can put the filling in the middle a hemisphere is um, a half of the earth uh, prohibitive so no prohibitively 
So I might want to get a new car with all the new features, but it might be prohibitively expensive. I just can't afford it at the moment. And truthfully, so uh, rather than lying, telling the truth about what happened, and uh, noble. So you might be break some equipment and work, but if you're truthful about it, then uh, everything might be okay, even if you did mess up. Whereas if um, you broke the rules a little bit and then lied to them, then that might be considered something more serious and end up losing your job or something like that. Uh, jettison. It's um, something like falling off. So in World War II with some aircraft to give them a bit of extra range, they had uh, fuel tanks that they could jettison and midway through flight they would fall off. Uh, warmonger. It's someone, it's more, sorry, warmongering. It's usually, I guess, at a, no, it could be like an army in the 1400s or so, but um, you're going out looking for a fight, not just individually, but um, you're looking to take a country to war. Uh, hickey. Um, and aerodynamics. So it's how, how something flies through the air. You might have um, a glider that doesn't have um, an engine and it has different aerodynamics to a jet fighter that's meant to go travel very fast. In the case of a glider, you're going to have a long wide wingspan to try and get as much lift as possible and it might also be able to fly much slower. Uh, persistent, something that um, stays around over time. It's not temporary. And have a windshield wiper on a car and plane as well. Um, looks like we've got Sky here. But I don't think that's part of the word list. And clearly, there's duty free. Materialistic. So, duty free would be if you're traveling internationally, you might be able to buy something on the way out, such as alcohol. And if you end up taking the alcohol outside of the country with you, it might be exempt from the tax of that country because it's not being consumed there and it might be a bit cheaper. Our circumference is part of a circle. It describes how wide the circle is from one edge to the other, straight through the middle. You might have a pizza described as something like a nine inch pizza. And if you measured it from one side to the other, it's nine. Uh, ordinarily. And specialist, someone who focuses on a lot of things. So you might have a doctor or a general practitioner that might see a lot of patients about a lot of different things, but you might have specialists that deals with just issues with the feet or the hands or um, psychologist. Then there's life and death. You might um, go urge someone to reconsider um, or call triple O in a life or death situation or 911 in America. Pasteurization is a procedure done to milk to help it stay fresh longer. I'm not sure exactly what happens, but uh, cougar, that's a type of animal. And reliably, you might have a car that even though it's small, it doesn't it's not flash, it doesn't have a big engine or anything, but it can get you from where you want to go to wherever you're there. And even in cases where it might be cold and similar, it's, um, if it, yeah, it um, turns up, is consistently able to do the job. Uh, modernity, modern, modern, modernity. I'm not too sure of that one. Uh, bogs down. Someone might um, feel bogged down if they're in the middle of many projects and haven't completed one for a while. You could also get um, bogged down in sand for a four wheel drive and get someone else out to give you a tow. A jackhammer is a 
machine used to break up concrete and differentiate so be able to tell the difference between two separate things uh, swelling you might get bitten by an insect and the body's reaction is to make it larger and stir fry is a type of meal uh, inquire you might ask about um next uh, few steps if uh, the weather looks like it's going to change the itinerary of a trip we'll just have a quick stock of where we're at uh, blob so I guess that's not saying a particular shape that's um let's see you could say there was like a blob of glue on a sheet of paper I think gauge yeah like so one of the thing I know this happened in Australia was that each state was responsible for making railways and they all had different types of gauges which is the distance between tracks which meant that once you got so far then the train wouldn't be able to run further up the line and at one point they standardized the gauges all throughout the country so uh, sadden might sadden someone to hear that um, a favorite actor has passed away it looks to be alloy no dally someone might dally along they're not walking along very fast uh, rafter there's like a bit of wood in the top of the house. Drank. So you might have a glass of water and if you're outside for a very long time, you know, someone might say they've drank it down very fast. So what are we still missing? Lint, queasiness, waver, and ripe there's lint so you might have lint appear on some clothing like a little bit of um, fuzz and dust uh, queasiness someone might experience queasiness if they're not used to flying There's ripe. You don't want to pick the fruit until it's ripe. I think there's just one to go of waver. There we go, waver. You might say that um, it was a challenging project, but whoever was backing it there didn't waver and they were always confident it was going to be achieved, even though it looked difficult all the time. And that's it, so I'll move on to the next one. So mechanical, um, and recipient, anytime, watermelon is a type of fruit, uh, maneuver, no, outmaneuver. So there might be two fighter jets uh, going at each other and if one can outmaneuver the other it can get behind it to shoot it down easily. Uh, consular, you might get assistance from your embassy you and get consular assistance. There's aunt. So similar to not glass, yeah, glass ceiling. Misuse. So 
it might be relatively easy to claim a travel allowance, which might open it up to misuse. Uh, disrepute, so someone, a company might have a very good name, but a particular um, fraud or embezzlement might bring it into disrepute. Droop dry might be instructions when washing some clothing to hang it out on the line rather than tumble dry it so that it doesn't get damaged. Syndication, so someone might make a television show and then have it available for TV networks to pass out onto different things to make it available for syndication. Uh, preposition. I'm not too sure what that means at the moment. Uh, fruitless. You could say you've searched the um, sporting field for someone's lost wedding ring, but you couldn't find it, so the search could be fruitless. I'm not sure if sad's going to be a word, but I'm going to try it. Ineptitude. Uh, it's, so someone might not be able to correctly operate a forklift, and that might cause an accident. Readjust. So you might adjust something once and then need to go through and readjust it after you take measurements again. And it looks like functional. It might not look the best, but um, a Swiss Army knife might be perfectly functional. Physical education, so that might be a sport. Uh, the class, so you might go to school, mathematics, geography, English, uh, history, and physical education, would, um, where you might go out and play a game for a bit. Uh, polluted. And... Ineligible. Someone might have earned too much money to be ineligible for a, a um, government grant. Uh, strength. I could say that someone's strength and um, put them in a position where that's what they keep doing. So. Bolster. So you might find that the might be a company with front end staff and back end staff, and if the front end staff are getting smashed, you might send some people from out the back to temporarily help out the front and bolster the number of people out there. I think it's usually used in military terms to bolster ranks. Shortfall. So someone uh, may not be able to make their rent for the week, but you could offer to cover their, their shortfall and loan them the money until they can pay it back as well as bulletproof and might have a bulletproof car or a bulletproof vest would be another one that's common and nationally so something that happens all the way across a country and ornithology which is the study of birds. Uh, purr, a uh, cat will purr. Analysis, you might have some raw data but need to spend a few hours to go over it and do some analysis to figure out what it really means. And non-violence, so there might be a protest out the front Rather than an angry mob that might break in and burn something down. So missing wipe, sung, fetch, blurb, early, prissy, uncertainly, K 
cab, prim, van, overreact, record, affably, forbear, television, brooch, outfit, choose no non-fiction, and pun and nail. That's still quite a bit to go. Early and Chrissy. Fetch. So I might go to the stores and fetch some vegetables or fetch something for dinner and bring it back. Affably. Affably. Um, I'm not too sure. Uh, brooch. I might have a difficult subject to talk to somebody about. I'm not too sure how I'm going to bring it up and broach the conversation with them. And overreact. So I might um, put a small dent in someone's car, but they might react like I've destroyed it entirely, whereas a little bit of paint and maybe some sanding will bring it back. Is uncertainly. And prim. Record. So there might not be any record of some of my grandparents moving to a country. Or another version of a record is the musical uh, device, so like an early version of a CD or a DVD. Or the act of um, creating a recording of something. And non-fiction is uh, something that actually happens. So you might go to a library and that's uh, usually split into two, fiction and non-fiction. A fictional story is um, made up. Whereas non-fiction might be someone's like autobiography of something that actually happened. And there's television, or shortened version of TV. An outfit, so you might decide on what you're going to wear. There's forbear. Yeah, van, uh, truck or lorry. Blur. No, that's not on the list. There's cab, another name for a taxi. So wipe, sung, blurb. Nail and pun and juice. Almost juice. So if, uh, you might be part of an organization and there's blurb where you owe money, like a monthly to be a membership, but you might fall late and the, that's um, your dues and what everyone's meant to pay each week or month or so. Not sure I'm going to find all the small ones. I'm not going to stick to it. Go to the other ones if I have to. There's pun. 
nail. So there's a hammer and a nail. There's a saying of when you've got a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Yeah, I think it's about time to kick on to the next one. Can't really see anything for it, so. All right, I'll jump onto the next one, so. There's sung wipe. And that's it. I thought I might have had a bit more to it than that, but all right, so three out of five. There's middle school. Um that might be more an American thing, but in Australia it's typically preschool of just one year, and then primary school seven years and high school six years and then university after that so slap um i don't think preschool's required train no strain might strain a muscle by trying to lift a bit too much weight in centimeter so a unit of measurement around about the size of a small finger Looks to be unhappily. Uh, contort. So a contortionist is someone that can fit into very small spaces. I think in Ocean's Eleven there was a contortionist that managed to get smuggled into the safe. Uh, lock. I'm not sure if mill is a word, but we'll try it on. respiration so to do with breathing a catalog so company retailing might have a catalog of everything they can sell and indistinguishable so there might be a forgery so good it's indistinguishable from the real thing uh, paternal No, paternalism. And rundown. So a building might look fairly rundown. Secure and bludgeon. Uh, birth rate. An instant replay might be shown on the sporting channels of whether. So that way commentators and referees can have a look and see whether the player might have scored a try or whether they got out or whether a ball was legal or not. Um, yeah, and relax. So spend some time relaxing with a book in a bath. Compartmentalise. If you're designing software, you might want to compartmentalize all of the logic so that if there's one part of it that might, each part might be simple rather than have parts all intertwined. Aries, uh, star sign. Uh, tenderize, you might tenderize some meat before cooking it. Uh, compromise, two people might want different things and if they reach a compromise, Find something that both people are happy with. Calm. Sour. Uh, mugging. So someone might be threatened and um, have their wallet stolen from them. And manufacturing. So people building some things.
and ultimatum um, where you pretty much say to something someone do something by this time or else and satisfactorily noisy something that contains a lot of noise Might be a flight with a lot of school children on that. Cordiality. Might be exchanging pleasantries. So missing. Flared, sopily, famine, sloppily, sorry, swivel, coexist, uh, precious stone, a reference book, illegal, hat, quibble, wise, soot, broke and odor, idle, destiny, weasel, cave, ledge, province, peck, and wrist. There's reference book. You might be able to take that into an exam. They're not trying to figure out whether you've just learned something but that you can understand and use it to solve the issues. Swivel, like a chair that can turn around from side to side. Flared, so in the style I think in the 70s, flared pants where they opened up more around the ankles. Uh, wrist, so part of the body near the hand. Uh, soot. Mill? No. Ah, illegibly. No, sorry, illegal. So it's against the law. Destiny. Uh, broke. Uh, weasel. You might have someone try and weasel out of their responsibilities. There's a precious stone, like a, um, a ruby. Also known as gems. Uh, famine, where there's not enough food to go around. Cove. It's a secluded area where you can park a ship in, in this land on most sides of it. There's sloppily, might be some painters come in to paint the house or unit, but if they were sloppily putting it on, you could easily tell. They might miss some bits and put some on thicker and leave marks around. Coexist. So two things. Um, yeah, living at the same time, at the same time, and hat, a bit of clothing that goes on the head, and 
is wise, someone who's very knowledgeable, it might be like a village elder. Uh, province could be a certain part or a subsection of, say, a state or a country. Might have their own government. So still missing Quibble, Boda, and Peck. Okay. There's odor, so there might be smell. It's usually related to a bad smell. So say some clothing that someone might have worn for two weeks without washing, or some shoes. And sour is a taste. No, that's not on the list. Okay. So I think we're just missing Peck then. We'll just have a quick look around for that. There we go, Peck. So you might find some chickens or hens or roosters. Might Peck at some food. Oh, sorry, missing Quibble. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to find that easily, so I'll just um, show it. Oh, missing a fuse there, sorry. So, ledge, hat, and quibble. And idle as well. So if something's idle, it's not on or doing much. So, swapping over to number four. So practice, you might spend a bit of time at the basketball court practicing some shots and so mechanize. They might uh, mechanize the seeding of uh, crops rather than someone going along, a lot of people going along and doing it manually. Vehemently. Um, someone's They'll tell you that uh, they might deny speeding all the time, even though it's quite clear that they were driving much faster. Uh, ladybug. It's a type of animal. Uh, posthumous. So someone typically that someone wins an award, but posthumously, and it means because they've died. So but their actions might have saved the lives of many other people. Uh, revolting. So, it's, yeah, you don't want to see it. It's not good. It's very, very bad. Uh, serpent. So slacken, you know, might reduce. Um, so you might have a ship tied to um, a dock and then slacken the ropes when it's time to uh, leave. And before you slacken them, before you disconnect them completely. Uh, trudge. Usually if I say someone's trudging, they're going through some mud or something. I'll be walking, but very, very slow, or I might trudge through some snow. Uh, there's grants. Yeah, grants in there. You might get a grant from the government to plant some trees. Uh, riddled. A host, no. Maybe host town, no. A masquerade, so you might go to a masquerade ball where everyone dresses up and covers their face. So you're not really hiding yourself, but um, 
sort of going through the motions of getting dressed up. So that might wear a mask, but it won't show cover over all of the face. Uh, folly. Someone who may not be very experienced. Theory. And it looks like spoons in as well. Uh, turntable. So I said earlier there was a record that stores music and you'd play that on a turntable. Uh, squeak. We might hear a mouse squeak as well. Uh, labyrinth is like a large maze. Go and get lost in it. And a pigsty, it's something typically very messy. You might um, be a mechanic and look on the back seat of someone's car that they come to service and just say, lol, I'm glad I'm just working on the engine. Um, agility. Is the ability to change directions quickly. Overdone. So I might have left some food in the oven a bit too long. And a drugstore to pick up some medicine. A figure of speech. So it's not really something meant to be taken literally. Compulsory, it's meant to, everyone's meant to attend. There might be a school-wide meeting if it's compulsory. A, gli a hang glider. So it's a big sail that people might um, they'll fly along with, but um, it's just there's no motor. So they'll usually do it on a coastal region. And as the wind comes along the ocean and hits some cliffs, it might blow the air up, which these um, hang gliders use to help keep them flying. Uh, suggestive and morning uh, joyride uh, there might be some local crime and people might be stealing cars but take them on a joyride before burning them uh, firearm it's a general name for uh, a, um, a weapon like a rifle or a shotgun or a pistol a student, someone studying, negotiation, so two people might discuss uh, what they wanted to, so you know, someone might be looking to sell a business, but they don't have as much money, sorry, they want a large price, but someone else uh, may not be able to offer that much money, so they might um, discuss terms, so maybe there might be a payment plan trophy but if they find something they both can agree to then they can proceed with the deal ah uh, note no so missing trials ah to note so i might have some shorthand symbol so it might be three dots as in like one dot one dot one dot and that might denote something instead of uh, writing it out tin most and sport seldom bottoms gargle fruit tiny anesthesia beam sing song undo ghost town formula justified and eyewitness is seldom so something doesn't happen that often someone might seldom go out for a drink might only do it twice a year and formula uh, justified Trials Good. 
beam. So there might be some beams that'll hold the roof up of a house. Uh, sing song. We might go camping and then say everyone once we have dinner we'll go meet around the fire for a sing song. Anesthesia. So if someone gets surgery, they um get some anesthesia so that they sleep through it. On the lookout for eyewitness. Can't quite seem to find it. Oh, undo. So you might, um, oh, particularly like in editing word processes or spreadsheets, if you make a mistake, you can undo it with Control Z. Ah, there's, yeah, I saw a town earlier, and it's Ghost Town, so it's, um, so it might be a few buildings that, like, 30, 50 people might live, but you might find there's only two or three people live there. Because everyone else has moved, maybe there was something like a mining going on, and then it's become unprofitable, so everyone went somewhere else. There's eyewitness, so someone might have seen the crime with their own eyes. So still missing tiny, no, almost. That's tint instead of, oh, it could be tin. And sport. So in Australia, the common now rugby league is common in New South Wales and a little bit in Queensland, a little bit in Victoria, but it's mostly New South Wales. But AFL is very popular in Victoria and um, a little bit in New South Wales and over in Perth. There's most. And I think we're almost done. Hot bottoms and gargle tiny and fruit as well. Okay, almost. Gargle, so it might have some medicine where I've got to put it in gargle. So just uh, put it in the mouth and then um, mix it around in there. There's fruit. And tiny and there we go, bottoms. All right, so I'm going to give up on this one. And there we go, that's tiny. So I'll just move on to the last one. Um, actually, I think I'll leave this one here and uh, finish up. So thanks for watching and uh, have a good night.